I'm Tracy Baxter with today's Record News Watch. For two-year-old Alexandra, a vanilla cone was the way to try to beat today's heat. Her cousin Charlene came up with the idea of stopping for ice cream on this latest day of this heat wave. I was babysitting, so we went to visit my parent, my mother, and we decided to stop and get ice cream because she was getting a little cranky from the heat. <laughs> But Charlene and Alexandra got their treats at Rita's in Middletown, where staffers say the scorching temperatures have been good for business. It's been hectic. It's been very busy running out of ice left and right, running out of flavors, especially the most popular. Um, we've been open late every night just trying to help people and try to, try to keep them keep cool. We will continue to bake for the next couple of days, but a break from the intense heat is predicted by Sunday. More on that later. It's not just the heat and humidity that's uh, putting many of you in a foul mood. According to AAA, gas prices have shot up about 20 cents a gallon in the past couple of weeks, getting us back up around 380 or more per gallon, with uh, predictions of even higher prices in the weeks ahead. AAA blames the price spike on the rise in crude oil prices, increased demand, political instability in Egypt and elsewhere, and turmoil in the commodity markets. A section of South Street in Newburgh uh, was closed this morning as city police investigated what may have been a drive-by shooting. Police say a person was shot in the face while riding in a vehicle. The gunman was in another vehicle and remains at large. No immediate word on the condition of the victim. Keep clicking here at Record Online for updates. City of Kingston was the latest area location where people have gathered to protest the acquittal of George Zimmerman for the shooting death of Trayvon Martin. Close to 100 peaceful protesters gathered on the steps of the Ulster County Courthouse to voice their outrage with the jury's verdict and to call for an end to racial profiling and racism. Among those at the Wednesday rally, a representative of Citizen Action, a group that wants civil rights charges brought against Zimmerman, another speaker, Evelyn Clark, the director of the Ulster County Human Rights Commission, said the circumstances surrounding the teen's death should raise concerns for all young black men. Images captured on store surveillance video has led to the capture of a suspect for the robbery of a store in the town of Wallkill. Last Thursday, a man robbed the Rite Aid Pharmacy on Fitzgerald Drive in Wallkill, leaving with more than $500 worth of proceeds. But 29-year-old Vincent Colombo of Middletown was identified through the pharmacy's surveillance video. And yesterday, state troopers spotted him walking on Broadway in Newburgh. Colombo was arraigned on a first-degree robbery charge and ordered held on $35,000 bail. He was charged with burglarizing a church in Liberty two years ago and stealing cash and church valuables. Now Marvin, Marvin Mayfield will serve three to six years in prison for the thefts at St. Peter's Roman Catholic Church in Liberty. DNA evidence helped uh, Liberty uh, police link Mayfield to the break-in and thefts. Ash was stolen along with religious objects, including a silver chalice uh, worth about uh, $10,000. The stolen items were never recovered. Mayfield is uh, currently serving time for a burglary in Rockland County. And it was not your routine grand larceny case in Walden, where a Middletown couple sold the contents of an apartment to a local secondhand shop. The woman told the shop owner that the apartment was uh, where her father resided and that he had recently died. Her father did live there, but Walden police say he is very much alive and was in jail at the time of the property sell-off. Shop owner got a tip that she'd been duped, and when 35-year-old uh, Antoinette Appel and 41-year-old Michael Lehman returned to the area to get the balance of the money, police officers intercepted them and charged them with felony grand larceny. Appel was ordered held on $25,000 bail. Lehman is being held without bail. We'll probably have to wait until Sunday before we get any noticeable relief from all this heat. Friday will be another hot, humid day with the temperatures in the mid-90s. Not much change Saturday, another scorcher with the highs again in the middle 90s. Thunderstorms may arrive late in the day on Saturday and uh, they may help uh, break the heat wave. Get news when you want it right here at Record Online and get an edge on the day by starting it with the Times-Herald Record. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.